What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of this video for a quick message from our team. Let's get into the video. No, I am not Bear. This is only me, Trey Trends here. It is kind of weird being the only one here, but I promise I will still be delivering some good picks for you guys. Bear is just on his way back on a long hour trip, so it's just me, Lone Wolf, and Teets had to sit out for tonight again, but... I promise, guys, like I said, I'm going to still deliver some good picks. This is our NBA game pick video for Tuesday, March 21st NBA slate of games. But before we give our picks for tonight, let's look and see how we did yesterday. I was 1-0. Shout out the Bulls. What a great matchup that they had versus the 76ers. It was a great game to watch and an even better game to bet on if you rode with me. I gave out the Bulls plus 7.5 in that game, and they cashed for us winning that game outright. The game went into double OT, but it just felt like the Bulls had a stranglehold on that game throughout and definitely was not going to lose by eight points or more. Bear, he did have the Warriors. I can't remember what spread it was, but I know he needed to, them to win by double digits. They did win by 13, and I looked at the spread, and it was 11 and a half before tip-off. So regardless, he won that bet. We swept the board, and we're going to be moving on till today. I'm going to be giving you guys out two of my favorite NBA picks for the Tuesday slate. And the first game is going to be the Cleveland Cavaliers versus the Brooklyn Nets game. It seems like every time I pick the Nets or pick against the Nets, even I'm always on the wrong side of their wins and losses, but their games are always really fun to watch. So I might as well bet on them. And I'm sure a few of you guys can relate to that as well. But the Cavs team is equally fun to watch. I mean, their backcourt is dynamic and, their front court with Evan Mobley and Jarrett Allen is really fun to watch them catch oops. Jarrett Allen has sat out their last five games, and he is questionable to sit out of this game too, so that is just something to note before tip-off. But the Cavs have struggled on the road this season. They are 16-20 and 20 straight up and 15-19-2 and 2 ATS for the season. And with the Nets, let's just look at their last 10 games because I feel like this team is still you know, adjusting to their new roster. The Nets are 5-5 five and five straight up and 6-4 and four ATS in their last six games. But it does need to be noted that they are 6-0 and oh ATS in their last six games. And these two teams have only played once this season. And it was whenever Brooklyn had KD and Kyrie. So we kind of have to throw that game out of the window. But the Nets did travel to Cleveland in that game and did win by eight points. So we do need to note that at least. And maybe the Cavs will be looking to get some revenge and even up the series to equal out that you know tiebreaker of of games played against each other. But the Cavs have a fun, but the Cavs have a comfortable five game advantage over the Nets in the Eastern Conference standing. So I don't think that that's going to play in to factor at all in this game. And whenever we look at some trends, neither team has an advantage whenever they are slight favorites or slight dogs. The Cavs are 10 and 8 ATS whenever they are between three and four and a half point favorites. And the Nets are three and three ATS whenever they are between three and four and a half point dogs. But I'm going to be going with my gut here in this game because it usually does lead me down the correct path. So give me the Cavs here. I'm going to buy a half point. I'm going to take them minus two and a half in this game. I was thinking money line, but minus 146 is, is just too juiced for me to want to bet that. And one of the main reasons why I love this bet so much is because the Cavs' defense is the most dominant defense in the NBA. First in points allowed, first in assists allowed, first in field goals allowed per game. And they allow the second fewest rebounds per game. So give me the Cavs here to get a nice road win in Brooklyn. And then my next game, I'm going to be traveling to the last game of the slate. And it's probably going to be my favorite game. It's going to be the Oklahoma City Thunder versus the Los Angeles Clippers. I do love this game, like I said. And the Clippers and Thunder have a lot of you know history together, dating back to whenever the Clippers traded SGA to the Thunder for Paul George back in 2019. And if you watched our player prop video, you know that I did pick Russell Westbrook to go over his points in this game because I do think he's going to show up against his former team. The only question is, will Paul George and will Kawhi Leonard over their last five games versus the Thunder, those two have combined for 49.4 points, 14.8 rebounds, and 8.6 assists per game. Now, a lot of that was coming from Kawhi Leonard, though. He was averaging a massive 29.8 points and 8.2 rebounds in those five games. So 
maybe hammer him for some player props tomorrow because he is already really hot coming into this game. So if those three players all show up for this Clippers team, I think that they're going to be very, very hard to beat, especially at home. And not to even mention their bench, Eric Gordon, Mason Plumley, Terrence Mann, Nicholas Batum. Those are all four great players that, that you can depend on for some good bench production. And the Thunder have shown to just be the SGA show and everyone else fills out around them. If you've watched a Thunder game, you know that SGA is going to shoot the ball at probably around 30 times in the game, and that's fine. I mean, he's easily the best player on their squad. And Josh Giddy has been somewhat underwhelming this season. But the Jalen Williams duo has been great for them and stepped up in their rookie seasons, though. But for me, I feel like the main advantage is going to be on their bench and the coaching. And that is definitely leaning in the Clippers' favor. I just don't think that the Thunder have enough players to contend with the Clippers in this long West Coast road matchup. So give me the Clippers here. I'm going to buy a half point again. I'm going to go minus six and a half in this game. Even though these two teams have played twice already this season and the Thunder won both games, those games were only in OKC. This is the first game in LA. And in the first game, you just got to dig a little deeper. In the first game, Kawhi Leonard did not play. And in the last game, neither Kawhi Leonard or Paul George played in that game. So I think the Clippers are going to enact some revenge in this game and probably win this game by double digits. So give me the Clippers here minus the six and a half. I'm going to do some spring cleaning and bring out the brooms. Thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe below. Thank you guys. Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our locks of the week, which are written articles that go in-depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.